We're live in the pits of Metal Chaos with you one and only. And with my friends, Roses on Red. What's up, guys? What's going on? Yeah. I like your new music. Thank you so much. Uh, was, uh, we worked really, really hard on it. And I um, wouldn't say we really changed our sound on the new stuff, but we added a lot of stuff that we haven't really done before. And everybody's really digging it so far, so we're pretty excited about it. Hell yeah, that's some good shit, man. I saw your music videos. Some good work, man. I love your music videos. That's some raw shit. Man, we appreciate it. Like, it was, it's, it's so funny. Like, the day before we did the music video, we lost our location and had to come up with a new location in less than, like, eight hours. It was crazy. Hell yeah. But some kind of way made it happen. I don't know. It's it's all good. You guys got raw shit, man. I love that shit. I love the, I love the video work. Who does your video work? We've got a guy. Uh, his name's Seiji. Um, he uh, he's from Jackson, Tennessee. He's local, and he actually was an assistant on one of our previous videos. And he started doing things on his own. And he's really um, like in the last two or three years, he he quit his job and. Um, sold a lot of, like, he used to play music, he sold all his music gear, and he just, he's really invested in his uh, marketing and video stuff now, um, and, and that's what he's doing to, you know, for, like, West Tennessee, North Mississippi bands in this area, he's kind of making himself, like, the go-to guy for, you know, he helps bands draw up plans and um, do marketing, that sort of stuff, and... Um, we were one of the first bands that, you know, signed him on uh, for like a direct, a, a big director spot. Well, I mean, big is big for you know a regional band, I guess. But yeah. uh, so he's he's made quite a bit of business since then. So we we just kind of help each other out, and uh, but he's he's great to work with. He's a uh, he and Allison really you know get together and and figure out all the creative stuff. Yeah, and. Um, and then the rest of us, you know, we just kind of, um, go with the flow and cause she, she ultimately has the vision for all the video and the artwork and everything. Yeah. Cause she makes necklaces and jewelry. Right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I still haven't ordered that, uh, crystal necklace. Hope you still have it on hold for me because this week hey. I'm going to have the money. Hey, I'll send it to you, man. Yeah. That, 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 that'd be awesome. That crystal necklace with the, with the fucking fairy or the... Or the pentagram, that'll be awesome, man. And you've, hey, you've always supported us, so like, just send me your email and I'll send it to you. Oh, nice. For real. Plug your jewelry line. Plug your jewelry line. It's the Unread Collection, and we're on Etsy, and um, I don't have a lot posted right now, but like, I do it on Facebook, but um, but I have a, a Facebook page as well, the Unread Collection on there, so it's U-N-R-E-A-D. And I'll post things on that, but uh, I don't have a lot on there at the moment. But I'm going to. Um, I mainly do just like if somebody wants something, I'll put it up there. But uh, but yeah, that I definitely need to start putting a lot more stuff up what? there. Now but, what? Like seriously, seriously. Um, send me your your address, and I'm gonna, I will. I'm gonna see you that for real. I will. Now and uh, now, what else do you make besides necklaces? Uh, bracelets, earrings, uh, rings. I nice. mean, pretty much any kind of jewelry. Nice. Yeah. Now, do you make chokers? Yep. Ooh, that's cool. Do it all, yep. Yeah. Do you, like, design clothes? I've, like, cut up some band shirts and tried to play along with that. But, like, I've found out that, like, sewing and um, cutting and stuff is just not my forte. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but jewelry, yeah, like, I'll, um, I'm, I'm with that all day, but not really with clothing. But uh, I could... I have, like, sold some stuff that I've worn on stage, just trying to, like, get rid of it because I need some space and stuff, and uh, yeah. I've been pretty good with yeah. that. But, um, but yeah, me and sewing and clothing, we just don't really mesh very well. Dude, you know what I'm, you know, if you, you have, pat if you have any patches later on extra, like about 20 of them, send them to me. I'll sew them up on my messenger bag, and I'll mail it to you. That's something we need to get. I got, I got, I got an extra, ex, extra messenger bag. You could use that as a purse too. 
Yeah, that's like we uh, we we ran out of koozies re- recently, and then um, we had some hats and ran out of those. So like like uh, koozies and hats, and uh, we talked about buttons before and patches. So that's like the mix on the list for sure. Yeah, well, this this is what I do. I make my own clothes. I I I I always sew. I love to sew. I do make jewelry, but yeah. you no. need to make me something to wear on stage. I'll make I'll make you something. I'll make you some earrings. Yeah, for real, that'd be awesome. I'll make you some skeleton earrings. I I I got I got a cool set of skeleton earrings. I'll send you. Heck yeah! Now yeah, I'll send you the the pentagram and uh like the, the crystal and all that. Uh, do you have a fairy? If you still have a fairy, put it yeah, along with a crystal. I yeah, I like the fairy one better. I can do that. Yeah, definitely. I got too many pentagrams, girl. Girl, I got I like hundreds, hundreds of pentagrams, hundreds. Do you want the purple or the red? Purple. Okay, gotcha. Oh, I love purple. Purple's my like purple's my that, that, yeah, that, definitely. that purple is the color of my walls. Did you know that? You know, as a child, and like our old, our my old bedroom, which is our studio now, I used to have purple walls. Well, yeah, my my walls are purple. My bedroom's all black. My mom hated me for it, but I was like, "Hey, <laughs> this is what I need right now." Oh yeah, my mom hates it too. <laughs> I had lime green, uh, like border around my windows and stuff. She totally hated that. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta paint the border of my window. I'm gonna paint it black. I wish I could have done that. I'm I'm thinking about doing the ceiling black and white stripes. Lucky. (laughs) Mom would have never let me do that. I was lucky to have the green and the purple. I don't even know how I got away with that. (laughs) Well, see, this house is mine and my sister's house, so, you know. Yeah, so you can can do whatever, yeah. Well, yeah, I do what the fuck I want in this house. I I would, too, if, yeah, definitely. Like, where we live, we, we're renting my parents' house, which was, like, my old house as a child. So, like, we can only do so much. So, we're kind of limited. So, but do you use your backyard you know, for um, videos? We have. Um, we did Blindly the Blonde. And uh, what else did we do? We did um, Blindly the Blonde. We did Room 312, which is an older video. We actually did it at my parents' house. And... Um, this new one, though, we actually did it at my uh, my friend's house in his backyard. Because we had to, like, change the uh, the location, like, last minute. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, what are we going to do? Come to find out, you know, he has this, like, awesome backyard with this pond. It's, like, really kind of, like, it was kind of snaky. And, you know, <laughs> you know, we were kind of, yeah. like, scared at the moment. But, you know, it, it, but it worked out for, like, the whole vultures thing. Like, they were literally, like, in this field rocking out and, no telling what was with them during the moment they were doing that. Like, what was that like? <laughs> you know, we were just like, well, if we can get a few good takes out of this, <laughs> say to our directors, like, I'm gonna be in it with you too, man. So, and uh, so, I mean, we no nobody got bit. We uh, had we had to uh, took about three or four weeks to get all the gnats out of the van. Oh shit! But uh, nobody got bit or drowned or anything, so, so that I, was good. I see your Vulture's official music video has sixty-six thousand nine hundred eighteen views now. Yeah. Yeah, that that's crazy, that's man. Crazy, I hell yeah! I, the, I can't explain it. I what the hell? Like what you guys do? What you guys do? <laughs> well, there was a little more promoting involved. I mean, like. We, you know, we ran some ads and stuff, but, like, nothing, like, crazy, you know, more crazy than we normally do, you know. I, yeah. So, I don't, I mean, it was, uh, I don't know, what would you say? We we had a marketing team did, behind did, us. Did it though. cost you guys money? Uh, well, you know, we paid for a the video. Bit. And yeah. Sagey did some teasers for us leading up to the final release, and... You know, we ran some Facebook ads for that, and, you yeah. know, nothing crazy, like 10, 20 bucks here and there, and oh, yeah. we just got a, you know, we've got people that have been following us for a long time now. You got 33,000, so. you got over 33,000 followers. Yeah, like, uh, yeah, I think it's that. Um, 
So, you know, we've got a lot of people that just kind of keep up with what we're doing. The thing we're kind of focusing on now, we focused on Facebook for the longest time. Yeah. And um, we're, we're trying to focus on YouTube now. And okay. what we really want to do is, is, you know, get our get people migrated over to our YouTube page and start updating that with more content, whether it be like weekly question and answer sessions or uh, – instrumental versions of the songs or playthroughs or just i don't know whatever people think may be cool because we've but, got our music videos up and, but take my you know, tip that. take my tip um stay away from doing so many videos leading towards your music because you want to leave the people in suspense just don't do so many live videos on the music you know yeah, yeah. gotcha yeah i see the video you guys are doing right now doing live with me <laughs> Dave's oh. showing it to me on my phone, <laughs> on his phone. <laughs> Cause right now I'm doing this thing. I'm I have I have an actual studio off the off the internet. I do it on my laptop, but it's connected yeah. to online right now. Everybody can hear you live. Okay, right on. It's recorded on live, but I'm not on the internet because the internet site is kind of always messes me up. And then we'd have to do the interview all over again, you know. We don't want to go through that. Wow. I, I see the people commenting. <laughs> Hello? Yeah. Oh. Every time every time Allison does anything on Facebook, uh, you know, people are like, what is this girl up to now? Because so, <laughs> you never really know. Oh, yeah. It's just crazy, man. This is this is just oh oh shit! I got to turn off the volume. Yeah, well, I just just turn it on my phone, and then and then all of a sudden the video popped up on my phone too. <laughs> yeah. So, t- tell me, tell me about the tour. Well, we're doing uh, we're doing some EP release shows. We're doing uh, Jackson, Tennessee, Corinth, Tennessee, Memphis, Tennessee. Um, August 18th, 19th, and 25th, and um, don't really have anything for September just yet. Um, Then we got some stuff going on in October. October's pretty booked up, and I don't have my my schedule in front of me, so I don't But you can go on a Reverb Nation. Reverb Nation, and... um, If you follow us on the band, the Bands in Town app is really good. We update that. Uh, every time we we confirm a show, so the bands in town on Facebook or you can get the app on your phone. That's definitely really cool, um, and I use it for all my favorite bands too. And what it'll do is, if you've got music on your phone, it'll sync those artists to your bands in town. So when somebody's coming within a certain radius of your location, it sends you a message. Um, so we've got quite a bit of a bit of followers on that, yeah. and um, so you know it's this day and age. It's hard to it's hard to let everybody know all at the same time. You know that you're coming to town, but um, we don't. We're at, we're you know we're doing we're not really hitting the road uh, full time just yet. Um, we're kind of doing a lot of behind the scenes stuff still, uh, still practicing. We got a new set list we're working in with all the new material. Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, like, kind of marketing and and, yeah. and stuff like that, and really just uh, make everything as 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 good as we can possibly make it. Right. So. That's cool. Do you, Do you see how the crazy the internet is? We're live on this, and then when we're live on the video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to do, like, as much promotion as I could. Because, like, no, seriously, okay, we have this, it's Rody, it's yeah. Alex, and he totally hacked my account. Really? And it's probably been, yeah, it's been sending people, I don't know what, and, like, oh. every time I get on Facebook, in, like, three or four seconds, it just shuts down. And I've been so angry about it, and I'm not calling him out or anything, well, I kind of am calling him out, but I love him to death, but, yeah, he totally hacked my stuff, and, you know... Three or four other people have said he did the same thing to them, so I'm not very happy about it. But so, if you get anything from me, do not open it. 
Seriously. Oh my gosh. I don't I don't open <laughs> stuff on the one those, It's one of those things where it claims to send you a private YouTube link. It says you your yeah. name and then it says like the F word in like parentheses. Like I'm and I'm just like I did not send that. I apologize. Yeah, so, I know, like, I don't open that shit. Yeah, and I should not have and like every like seriously, every like four or five seconds I'm on Facebook, it just shuts it down. I'm like, seriously? I bet. Like so I've not really been able to get on in like days. Like um uh, oh, I can't believe I opened it. My, I've been uh, going. I've been going through this on Facebook for over eight years now. For eight years, I've been getting those messages. I, I don't know. I don't know why I opened it like this particular day. Yeah. But I like. I, I maybe thought it was legit. I mean, we were practicing, <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, what's Alex sending to me?" And like, I clicked it, and then it took me to this crazy page, and I'm like, "I just got hacked." And my Facebook has not been the same since. So I don't know if I need like delete the app or what. Delete the app and reset your password. Okay, I'm gonna try that because and like, go oh my in, God. go into your settings. Hold on, I'll tell you what to do. One second, go into your settings on Facebook. I'm gonna tell you where to go. Hold on, one second. Let me look at my phone. Yes, One second. I'm on, I'm Account on settings. Phone. Okay. When 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 you when you get off the phone with me, go okay. into your Facebook settings, go into privacy, or okay. no no security and login, go into security and login, and that day where the video was sent, check where it was locked, just check where it was sent from. It will show you the city and state where it was sent sent from, and then you delete that you delete that off of there. Then you go reset your password. Okay. No no security and login. Wow. Okay. I didn't, know, I didn't know it was, like, that technical that it told you all that. Wow. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. I've been with Facebook since February 20, 2003, since this they first like, started. This is, like, the first time I've got hacked before, and, like, I called him out on Facebook, you know, just being funny, but, you know, uh -huh. like, I just, uh, I was like, why did I click that? Like, why? Like, I'm like, you idiot. <laughs> and then, like, all his other friends are like, I did it, too. I did it, too. You know, we're all, you know, we're all in the same damn boat. <laughs> Listen to this. I went to DeVry in 2001 to 2003. After I was done with DeVry in January of 2003, I joined Facebook in February 2003. So since then, I've been with Facebook, and also I have built my own private website, which I will, which by probably by next summer, I'll bring it out on the Internet publicly. Everybody can join it. It's like, it's like an alternative Facebook site. But anyways... That's cool, yeah. I, I know how to build web pages and all that stuff, but anyways, that's 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 another that's off the subject right here now. But I'm just saying I know a lot about computers. That's still, yeah, that's still neat though. That's cool. I know a lot about computers. If you have a computer problems, <laughs> message me and I'll tell you what to do. Okay, that's good. Yeah, enough. because like I was uh I, like seriously, like before I go to bed at night, like I'll like just get on Facebook to like I don't clear my mind. I know that's really weird, but I haven't even been able to do that in like days. And I'm trying to figure out like what is wrong. And I know it's because I got hacked. I know it is. I'm going to just delete the app and go from there. I don't, I don't know. Like I told you, go into the security settings and go into the privacy yeah, login. See, see where the yeah. person logged in from. And then change your password after that. Definitely. Because, yeah, it's getting on my nerves so bad. Oh yeah. my gosh. <laughs> no. Uh, since we're since we're live right now, um, everybody that's on the the live stream, um, if we wanted to add more YouTube content to get get you guys to subscribe and um, kind of get you guys coming back to the channel and interested in more stuff we're doing and update on a more regular basis, uh, y'all just type in the chat. Uh, what kind of content do you want? Do you want like? instrumental playthroughs of us playing the songs do you want um allison putting on her makeup do you want uh you want more music videos you want lyric videos um that's why I was like trying to do the whole interview thing because like we've never done it like this way. So let's yeah. try something new, you well, know. Yeah, I mean we can put Carlos, we can put the dog in yeah, I mean he's always around. So. We don't we don't have him right now though. We have other dogs though. We're, we're, down, <laughs> no, at, but, uh, we're down at our buddy's yeah. house down the road and but, the um, dog's not with us. So 
you know, we've got some instrumental versions of the new songs we can put up, and we can do some playthroughs. Like, you guys can watch me and Jed play the guitar along with the instrumental track. Um, okay. And just kind of see how we play it. Uh, we can do the same for drums. And I think it'd be cool to, like, I mean, I don't know how you guys do it, but, like, some kind of way to get these interviews on the YouTube channel, too, you know? Yeah, these interviews, they're already, they're already up on YouTube. YouTube. YouTube yeah. channel after oh, okay. the video. So, yeah, so definitely. Like, yeah, we can share them, and yeah, definitely. The my my account is connected to YouTube, um, Tumblr, Twitter, all the yeah. all the social media sites. All right. Blogger. Yeah, mo even. Most, most people we do interviews with and and networking yeah. are, you know, they're. They're on the YouTube and all that, but YouTube. I figured you. I figured you guys were like, I. I want to like. There's gotta like. I want to be some kind of way to like just connect it all. You could connect it all. See, you have option in your Facebook to connect YouTube to your Facebook, Reverb, my Bandcamp, any website to connect it all to your Facebook, and you connect everything to your Twitter. You connect everything to your Tumblr. You connect everything to your YouTube. It all connects to each other. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've, YouTube, yeah, YouTube especially, like, that's, yeah, I mean, yeah, that'd be great. Like, like, sometimes if you pay attention to my post, I go on my Twitter account and I go post yeah. random political shit or whatever shit I post, yeah. It, yeah. it always pops up on my page. I'm like, cool. <laughs> I usually see your stuff except for, like, this week because, like I said, I, I don't know what has happened to my Facebook. I'm going to do that, what you said, though, because... It's been so frustrating. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so frustrating. Trust me, I always change my password once a week. Nobody can hack into my account. I need it. I'm going to start doing that. My account is set on privacy. Ridiculous. Like, I'm like, why? I mean, like, seriously, I'm like, I'm like, I'm trying to go to bed. I'm going like, to get on Facebook for about 10 minutes because it helps me sleep. As weird as that sounds. And then, like. Three posts shut down. I'm like, no, I can't handle this. Like, so, this so not... when are you guys coming to Chicago and Wisconsin? I need Gosh, to see I'm you guys. To Chicago. I have family in Chicago, and like, they're like, you know, you can stay with us, but we need a venue to play at. Like, we need some kind of venue that we can travel to, and you know, make it all work out. But I'm down anytime. Yeah, I we played in my old band played in Milwaukee. And we drove through Chicago. What are they still you, working on the interstate? Do you, no. Do you remember I, what? Do you remember what venue you played at in Milwaukee? Uh, it wasn't the rave. It was a. Uh, it was like a two story. We had to carry all of our gear up like two flights of stairs. It was miserable, but I mean, it was cool. Like the it was during the summer and the weather was really nice and the people were cool. It was like somewhere in downtown Milwaukee. I don't remember. Like, cause we drove all night to get there, and then turned. We got a hotel just to take a nap, and then after the show, we went to the hotel, took showers, and then we drove straight back south uh, because we had a show in like Jack uh, Corinth, Mississippi, the next day. So we didn't really get to enjoy Milwaukee at all. I just remember Chicago being. To a lot of toll booths and it was just not fun to drive through but i was like you know 18 at the time so and i'd never driven in a big city so that was my only experience with chicago but i would love to i would love to actually go play there hell yeah i'd i'd i'd, I'd, I'd love to see you guys reggie's limewire <coughs> Kurok lounge there's so many there's so many clubs in Chicago you can play at, and even in Milwaukee and Kenosha, and even out where I live in McHenry Lee County, I mean, there's so many clubs out here, so many metal clubs. Man, we would love to, oh my gosh. I'm, 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 I'm going to check around which promoters are good, it's and I'll send you their way, and I'll send, like, I'll send we them, would, we would love that. I'll send it's, them their it's way. It's about connection and getting that right connection, you know what I mean, it's mm -hmm. just, it's what we need. I'll, I'll find you a good promoter, don't worry. I got, yeah, I got, we appreciate that. I got friends, I got friends. I got friends in high-end and low-end places. <laughs> friends in low places. <laughs> friends in low places and high places. <laughs> it's crazy, man, it's crazy. Since I started doing this for five years now, man. It's crazy, got crazy, man. 
to just yeah, get crazy. Yeah, I, I, I always, like, interview one of these guys because you guys are just so down to earth. And it's just oh, like, yeah. you know, we're just talking as friends and stuff. I always oh, yeah. love We that. are friends. Don't forget that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but, like, you know, you know, most interviewers, it's just, like, so just, it's just dry cut and stuff. And this is just, it's just relaxed. And, you know, we're just having a good time. I always, like, I just like that. Oh, yeah. No, no. Tell everybody what's your favorite food. My favorite food? Yeah. Gosh, my favorite food is something I can't have because I'm on a keto diet. Oh, shit. Ugh. Ugh. And I love pasta. There's this place down the road, and we have this seafood pasta, and I've not had to have it in, like, six months. I haven't had it in six months. Wait, you can still eat pasta. What kind of diet are you on? It's keto. You can't have bread. You can't have anything good. It's it sucks, but you can you you can still eat pasta if you walk if you walk it's it off ten minutes later. You can have, like zucchini pasta. Yeah. It's it's yeah it's very low carb and today I cheated because it's like well my birthday is actually Wednesday but my friends are having a birthday party today. Happy Plus birthday. we have an interview today and I was like I got an interview today we can celebrate my birthday but I got this interview so I got to do both. And I was like, um, you know, I got to do both. But um, I did cheat today. So it What'd was you like, do? okay, so birthday, cheat day, well, you know, let's do it. You know, that kind of thing. What What did you do to cheat? I ate pasta and I ate, like, <laughs> fried chicken and a brownie and a cookie. <laughs> it's, you know what? I'm on a diet, too. I've, since... From the beginning of the month, I was certain weight on since beginning of the month to now. I've lost twelve pounds. I I oh, eat awesome. I eat whatever the fuck I want. I eat pasta, rice, everything, but I still <gasps> I still burn it off. You know why? Cause I walk. Yeah. Hey. Fifteen minutes a day. Gosh, I gosh, I wish I could do that. Oh my gosh. What's John's favorite food? What's your favorite food? Well, I'm going to say pizza, and I can legit say pizza. I was a pizza boy yeah. for six and a half years, so I I like to think of myself as a pizza connoisseur, <laughs> even though some people may disagree with me. His pizza was good. I mean, um, it really was. It was and, good. Well, I found a way to make a low-carb pizza that's really, it's really keto good. keto pizza. And uh, make it with almond flour and, and cheese for the crust and, and cream cheese and an egg. It's really good. It sounds um, good. It doesn't sound very but, good. Like, but, like, I dip it in, like, a bunch of ranch. But, like, when I had my pizza, like, regular pizza, I always dip it in ranch, too. But ranch doesn't have a lot of carbs. You would think it would, but it doesn't. I, I've eaten crustless pizza before. I can um, eat pizza, but not from certain places. See, like, I love Little Caesars. That's, like, my yes. weakness. Yes, 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 yes. Oh my gosh, Little Caesars, I would, like, tear it up right now. Oh, Crazy Bread, oh my god, you make me crave yeah, Crazy I Bread. Like I can't drive anywhere, because my plates <laughs> are suspended, I can't drive. <laughs> I would tear it up, but I oh, know shit. I can't, but, like, I really did, I ate really bad today, and I'm like, it's, you know, it's like early birthday, whatever, I don't care, Yeah. So, um, so on my actual birthday, uh, I'm gonna eat good, but today I cheated, I totally cheated. So... What's what's no your drink. guy's favorite drink? Non-alcoholic or alcoholic? Alcoholic. My favorite drink is the margarita. Yep, I like it. Strawberry. Mine's just like regular on the rock salt. Like I would, I don't know. I would drink a million of them probably if you let me. Strawberry at Cocoa Beach in Florida. Cocoa Beach, Florida. <laughs> See, I wouldn't even need that. I just like I'm just happy with a regular margarita. Like I'm satisfied because like that's the only like beverage that doesn't just make me crazy. Like I'm just I'm just cool with it. No, everything else like no, let that stay away. But he's he's better. He's better with it. What, what do you like to drink, John? My favorite drink of all time would probably well, it's a cross between Mountain Dew and Dr Pepper. <laughs> Mountain Dew. I, I would say Dr. Pepper. I, You're I more Dr. Pepper. Yeah, I haven't had either one yeah. of them in about six months. So, um, so it's, I mean, I don't really just wake up in a murderous rage <laughs> because I don't have my Dr. Pepper. But, uh, 
yeah. yeah. I mean, it's like my all-time favorite thing to drink eat is probably, I guess, would be Dr. Pepper. Well, I'm I made that. Yeah. Well, I think every, every decent yeah. human being needs to have mm-hmm. a, a, needs to be able to sit down and enjoy a can of Dr. Pepper. Well, but you know what? I really love Pepsi. what. Pepsi yeah. products like yeah. Diet Pepsi after Taco Bell. I gotta have a Diet Pepsi. Yeah. And well, it's bad because like it's like right after gym, and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> it's like I know I just worked out, but I need a Diet Pepsi. Well, John, I'm drinking a Mountain Dew for you right now. You oh go. heck yeah. Awesome. So tell me, what's the fondest memory of the band that you guys have so far? Oh gosh. Being done with this EP. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, I, don't. I mean, for, for me, I, I engineered the whole thing and recorded the whole thing. I didn't mix it and master it, but, um, you know, I was there. I was right there when all the songs were being written, and we wrote it as a group, obviously. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, I was the one in the studio you know, every time a note was played or a note was changed or a drum beat was played, you know, I was the one in there and I did all the engineering and all that stuff and all the technical stuff that nobody else wants to learn how to do. <laughs> and, um, You're like, no, so like the straight. day the day that I could I took the hard drive and it was done and I mailed it yeah. to Dave Cal, who's our who's our producer in Memphis who mixed it for us. Yeah. The day I put that hard drive in the mailbox and I was like, I'm so proud of this thing, but I'm glad that I can just walk away from it for just like a week or two. Um, I think mine was like after the video was done because I had this big vision for it. Um, just because, like, the following year, I mean, not the following year, the previous year, I don't want to say the following, previous year, um, there was a lot of things that went down, and uh, we lost a lot of things. Um, we gained a lot of things, but there was a lot of loss. And to me, the world was like a vulture. And until I finally just got that off my chest, I really couldn't be free from it. And it was weird because I thought, like, you know, with the silver lining, you know, that was my way of, like, okay, I finally see the light, you know, you know, it got this, you know, but, but really it was, it was vultures that let me, you know, let, really let me see the light because I let a lot of things off my chest with this album. And I think when we finally released that video and it was done, it was just kind of like I was, I was a little bit more free than I was. I mean, as, as deep as that sounds. Okay. Yeah. I mean- you can't, uh, I mean, unless you're an actual artist or you're a writer or, you know, the, a lot of people just don't understand how much, how much you put into, you know, like you hear about football players in college and uh, like people that play sports and like that's all they do and they put everything they have into it. I mean, the same is true for music. Uh, yeah. a writer or an artist um you don't realize like how much i mean like for the last year uh i haven't uh, allison either i haven't really had a social life i mean every mm-hmm. single spare moment i had we were locked in that studio yeah right? i was in that studio with facing those four walls and just like you know working all hours of the night uh mm-hmm getting up early on the weekends we didn't really we had shows you know we played shows as a band in between that time and uh but you know we didn't go like my my family lives back uh across the bridge in arkansas and we're in tennessee um i didn't go see my parents or my grandparents um you know so uh you know, her parents live next door. We didn't ever go over and see them. And yeah, so yeah and like, that's next door. And I'm like, man, I, you know, it's really weird. I'm like, gosh, my parents live next door, and I barely <laughs> see them. Like, something's wrong with this. But, I mean, I mean seriously, like, I feel bad about it sometimes. Like, I'll be laying in bed. I know this is crazy, but I'll be laying in bed. I'm like, man, my parents are next door, and I barely even go over there. You need to go and, over there. Hold I on. Do. I Hold really on. Hold did. On. And I'm like, Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let me send out some shout outs to the people in the chat box. <laughs> Brandy and Fraser Hubbard, hey, what's up? Carlos Williams, what's up? Okay, go on. Hello! 
Well, the, only, the, the reason we see Carlos all the time <laughs> is because our, our, like, roadie and light guy lives two Which miles Which we're over at his road, house right, right now. Carlos we're over at his house right now. Yeah, seriously. that's whose house we're at right now. <laughs> so that's the only reason we see Carlos. So, um, But no, like, they're right next door, and it's like, you know, sometimes I feel bad because I'm like, gosh, I barely see my parents. They're right next door, and I'm just stuck in the studio, like, and I feel bad about it. And I'm like gosh, I need to go over there and spend quality time, but then I'm so consumed with my music, so it's, like, hard to, like, you know, just separate that sometimes. It's it's a battle, I'm telling you. It really is. For me, at least. I don't know about you, but it for me, it is. Well, I mean, it's kind of... I just kind of look at it as, like, that's kind of the life I've signed up for, as bad and as that sounds. And they know that, too, you know, but... Because, like, my mom and dad, they they have been to, I don't know how many shows. My mom has worked the merch booth. My dad has driven us from city to city. And, you know, they've gotten a little older, so they're kind of like, you know, we want to go to the river and hang out. And I totally get that. It's not that they, like, abandoned us or given up on us. They've just gotten a little older. And, you know, sometimes it, it gets, it kind of hurts that I'm like, they're not with us anymore. But I have to understand they've gotten a little older and they, you know, they can't really do that anymore. And, uh, but, but I do know they still support us. My mom wants to know everything new we're working on. And, you know, it just, you know, and dad does too. It's just, it's just a different thing now. And I have to just respect that, you know. Hold, hold on a second. There's this, there's someone in my chat box that his name is John T. Franklin. He says, "Y'all hard work has paid off. God bless the whole group forever." Yeah, JT. John, I met yeah. JT. John. Uh, John is. Uh, I think John still lives in Houston. He's a uh, John is badass. He. I met him on a guitar group on Facebook, and mm. he. Uh, he started, we just started talking, and he kind of shared his story, and then I shared my story in the band, and, and how we got into playing music, and he's been on tour with all these guys back in the day, and he plays at church now, and he's a phenomenal guitar player, and I think since like 2012, 2013, he's been, um, he's always like been that guy back in my corner, and he's like, man, yeah, you got it, dude, like, I love what you guys are doing, so, um, you guys need to follow him too. He's got the okay. catfish. Okay, yeah, okay, okay guys. The catfish blue, right? Guys, guys, hold on. John, John, hold on. Let's play that song, Vultures, and then we'll yeah. be back because we got seven minutes left. All right. Okay, cool. hold, hold on.
it's all in here. Show yourself. We're back live in the pits of metal chaos. With with, with with that was vultures. Now tell me about the song vultures. Um, vultures. We uh we wrote it about a year and a half ago. We had a lot of a lot of things happen to us in that particular year. We had a lot of band members leave. We had um a lot of people lose their jobs. Oh shit. Um, oh shit. I uh lost a student in my classroom he passed away and it felt like the whole world was just eating us alive and um you know we just felt like vultures were after us you know just any kind of situation and um <laughs> trying to find just some light from it all because mm -hmm. like that whole year and a half just seemed so just dark and uh you know what light could we bring from it and that's why at the end of the video if you watch the video, it says, are you the vulture? It's kind of saying, like, hey, are, are you causing somebody to feel, you know, down or in a, in a dark place or a bad place? Because there were certain people, you know, um, that made some of us feel that way, that, like, we didn't amount to anything, you know. And it might not have been, like, the world or a situation. It might have just been a person. So it's just kind of like, who's your vulture? And... You know, we can relate. We all have vultures, you know, no matter what it is. You're yeah. not alone, um, if that makes sense. I, that, that makes complete sense. I remember when we were in Pensacola, Florida, um, I saw on, off on a road, it was, like, wooded area. There was, like, a farmhouse. There was, like, 20 or 30 vultures sitting on top of a roof of a house. Oh, and then there gosh. was, like, a dead coyote on the other side of the road, I got out, took pictures of it, and I got, and I got, like, two vultures flying in action, picture, shots of it, perfect shots of them just taking off flying. I, I mean, I bet that was awesome. Like, I've been, I've been seeing them, like, around the house and stuff, I'm like, oh my gosh, that would have been in the video, you know, just all this stuff, but, like, it's almost symbolic when I see it, it's like, but I really don't think of a dark time when I see them, I just, I think of, like, progression and um like you know just the mm -hmm. progress we've made you know from it it's not like a bad thing when i see him anymore you know when i saw a vulture i'm like something died and you know it's like a kind of a bad thing but when i see it now it's like you know i've let off a lot of steam and you know things i was holding in from that so it, almost like a vulture is like a good thing to me now as weird as that sounds yeah vultures are beautiful birds I mean, they really are. Like, if you look at them, like, they look they look pretty evil. But, like, the color and just, I mean, you know, it's just like you see something different. Oh, and we saw turkey vultures, too. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. <laughs> it was hilarious. We've seen hawks. We've seen hawks. eagles. We've seen all cool, types of birds. Though. I really do. Like, uh, 